Welcome back to nighttime at the Eco Ranch, I guess we're going to call it. Maybe farm. I'm not quite sure the word that's appropriate base. So, uh, anyway, so we're going to get to the started today with looking at food because food is the biggest bottleneck at the moment. We've got some styling issues to deal with our house, but as you can see, until we get to tier two materials, everything's soft capped anyway. So uh, maybe the best thing to go for would be to go for food. So I slept through a little bit. Yes, I used up more of my time unavoidable really uh, at least for me personally uh, on a server of course you'd have everyone specializing in particular things regardless um 191.4 as far as my nutrition is concerned uh we need to get that up a little bit more so let's just uh, hide most of those uh yep you can go away and to get started with cooking so to unlock cooking skill we need a couple of things have a look over here you'll see that cooking requires wheat porridge requires campfire roast wheat porridge is a bit annoying in my world because i don't don't have very many huckleberries thanks very much for a commenter who also said you should probably eat camas bulbs i can't find camas bulbs they're supposed to be everywhere in grasslands i have grasslands surrounding me cannot find them they're supposed to be a vertical stack of like violet flowers cannot see them anyway <laughs> getting back to the topic at hand wheat porridge so i need to go and find huckleberries for that very rare for me to find them and then campfire roast. This is the more the problem. The campfire roast, as you might imagine, we can go to the campfire and take a look. Crafting campfire roast. Uh, there it is. It requires two raw roasts to make one campfire roast. And remember, we need 10 of these. So that means, wow, 20 raw roasts. Okay, raw roasts are in here. Raw roasts. And each of them needs 20 raw meat so 20 times 20 is 400 raw meat that's a lot of that's like 40 bison uh so what we really want to do is make sure this gets more and more efficient and to do that in fact we even need to do it anyway we need to get the butchery skill because butchery will allow the cooking skill to become just easier to get we want that efficiency to go way 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 up and, uh, of course, we will get scrap meat from this, which we'll then use to make uh, probably sausage. Yeah, there you go. You, see, you can use the raw meat. don't think there's anything else you can use it for. No. So I'm going to need to be hunting a lot this episode. But to get started, we need to go into uh, our uh, hunter skill and then go to butchery. Uh, I think hunting itself just gives us uh, how close you can approach animals. Fair enough. Damage and... Uh, calorie consumption i'm not too concerned about those this will enable us however for various recipes so we're gonna have to take this one or, or on your server you may have to convince or someone else to take this one so yep yeah. uh so there we go that's butchery opened up and that means i can now make raw roast assuming that i had enough uh raw meat so to get that we're gonna have to get more raw meat to get it triggered in the first place and uh, yeah, so there isn't really even any recipe I can use to make. I can use scrap meat, I suppose. But first of all, I'm just gonna have to go hunting. So off to probably find bison, make a bunch of arrows, uh, repair some of my bows, except my bow, and um, we'll get some some meat for the whole process. So back in a minute. And one quick point here: do remember whenever you're doing this, and thanks so much to commenter as well to remind me, because uh, I. Do remember this occasionally, but uh, I do I haven't actually mentioned it. Do remember to actually increase the number here uh, and watch this on the output. You want to make sure the maximum number here is reached before it goes up by one, i.e. be the most efficient as possible. Sometimes you get a bonus. So do make sure whenever you're actually doing that, you can see right now, if I go for one, it takes one carcass, two takes one carcass, three takes two, four takes two, five still takes two, and six so five is actually pretty efficient you actually get so clearly this actually is pretty good so you get 50 out of that and uh, i've got a project here so these this project is it says four but that means four lots basically and five lots here so yeah there should be plenty of meat coming out of this so a whole lot less bison than i expected to be able to need to uh, to produce so there you go you got some raw meat and similarly we've got this down here the raw roast project um we should what i'm going to do is stack these up maybe let's just see if we do actually get more than one uh can we actually oh it's down to eight already just from doing the regular butchering so uh that's that's good it was 10 originally uh so this immediately increases but you can see i don't get any efficiency from doing that 
At least not yet. So we'll hopefully get that amount going further down. So as it produces one here, uh, what I'm actually going to do is cancel this project because I want it to just use up all of the, uh, the sort of boring early recipes first and then we'll see what we can actually get to. We're going to craft these probably one at a time and then if it gets any efficiency improvements from going up in levels, well, uh, that will only affect the next one and not a whole stack. So yeah, I'm off to continue hunting, but further for the moment, we just, well, you have to wait a little while while my stuff just completes. So yeah, making the raw roast next and off to get some more huckleberries, hopefully, if I can find more. Uh, they are in forested areas, they're not in grasslands, uh, so you got, got to be a little bit, uh, a little bit of an explorer when you go and find them. And just to show you on the map tool, uh, for camas bulbs, remember I was having problems finding them. Camas population. <laughs> see, see how small that is? So, yeah, uh, they, they are not easy to actually pick up uh, in my case. So, yeah, camas I need to go and look for. And also, let's just look down here for population. How about uh, huckleberries? Whoops, I've gone too far. Huckleberry yield potential. So that's where you basically want to plant them but also huckleberry uh, population, or, uh, yeah, population. Where are my huckleberries? Uh, there? Really? That's a heck of a walk. So we're going to want to be able to plant these, um, and I'm clearly going to need to go and head across over here somewhere and go and try and find them. So, yep, there's plenty of farming that we're going to need to do to basically make it so that I don't have to keep wandering all over the place for huckleberries. However, huckleberries are renewable, so um, I think you just harvest them once they mature, and that they take like 0.8 days to mature or something, so uh, hopefully we can do that every day. Uh, but we need a lot of them and a lot of seeds to be able to do that, and similarly with the camas bulbs and other sort of plants. So do keep the seeds, and uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go for the camas first, and uh, well, no, that's huckleberries over there. Yeah, let me go for the huckleberries first, and uh, we'll carry on. And while I'm heading out there, I just wanted to mention there is a big update for the game coming, version 9.0. Thanks very much for a commenter again who said, hey, you do know you're starting to get game right when update 9 is right around the corner. Yes, I did know. Uh, but I felt like playing a game anyway. Um, so, yeah, there is that. But uh, if you un haven't started yet and you do fancy it, you might want to go and look up on Google Eco 9.0 and the developer is giving lots of updates about what's coming in it. Very, very much changes. I will cover them all. We may even have to start a new world to actually do it. I think it does actually say about it uh, being quite an extensive update. So, yeah, maybe we'll need to uh, restart. But we'll see on that when that actually comes out. Uh, for the moment, though, it hasn't come out and there is a bit of a delay. So I'm going to continue on with this world and we'll see where we get to. And I've, as I've got some huckleberries, 74 of them, I also picked up some seeds. You roughly look at, if you look at the ratio of seeds, you will not get very many, but this is camas. So you are going to want to look for that on your map population as well. And you are going to need a shovel to dig it up. Uh, you're going to be able to replant them or use them as is. So I'm probably going to replanting most of them uh, just so that I can get a decent population of these going. And uh, you can have a look here, here we've got another plant. There we get 18 of them. Have a look at the map. Uh, again, it is very, very rare as far as that particular resource is concerned. So they're definitely not all over the place. Unlike something like, for example, uh, beets. Let's just look at beets, for instance. Uh, beets population. Okay, so look at the where that were my bases. Let's go and find where, where my base is. Uh, yeah, I have a number of spots all over the place for beets. So they are perfectly fine. But um, yeah, um, camas, nothing. <laughs> at least very very little so get the spots wherever you can and take it back to your base for planting and that of course does need farming in to, to really do that properly uh you're sort of randomly choosing until you have the, a soil sampler so yeah do bear in mind the things you plant may well uh, die die uh very very well yeah a lot of the time and in a very, very short period of time, our butchery skill is jumping through the roof, as you might imagine, from processing lots of bison. And of course, we can double the speed of related tables. I'm going to go with single tables again for the moment. You may want to go for the more efficient approach when you have multiple tables in concert with each other. But for the moment, I'm going to just go, to go for single tables and uh, we're coming up to level six. So it isn't going to take too much longer to max out this skill, it seems. And in go my final ingredients. We've got iron ingots, which it should take some of those. Yep, there we go. 
And uh, the research table has now got everything it needs apart from one campfire roast, which is just cooking on the campfire outside. So everything is good there as well. Uh, and that will then unlock that for us. I also put down a couple of extra ones because if I have a look here, anytime I eat any of the food that I've normally been eating now, it reduces my, it reduces this bonus. So I want to just try one of these campfire roasts. It increases protein and fat basically, which is fine. I need uh, an increase in those anyway. And um, yeah, we'll get a couple of those off this in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to try that and hopefully that'll increase my bonus before we actually get to the main cooking skill. And that's now completed. We've got cooking skill book, which leads us to a cooking skill scroll. And we have that now available. So yet more land claim papers. And I may all well just actually put those in here for now because uh, I don't have any other property that I need to use it for. So let's just drop those in there. Uh, they, they can see no encumbrance or anything, but uh, that gives me an extra slot, so at least for now. I'm going to also put the land claim tool in there. So that's the cooking skill. I don't have any more skill points to take it yet, but I do have it available. So there it is, cooking. And uh, let me just click on it and let's see what we've got in here. So yeah, the usual kind of efficiencies as we, as we actually go up. And of course, the cooking skill itself, you can see, ooh, crispy bacon and lots of other benefits. So yep, yeah, it'll be useful to actually uh, to see those. Is there any way to see the benefits? Yeah, there is. Maybe we can click on the benefits there. Oh, it'd be nice if it actually stayed on screen. No, you don't have any. Okay, forest salad, exotic vegetable, exotic fruit. Yeah, we'll have to see on the, that front. So, okay, I'm off to probably going to get that extra um, campfire roast and then I'm going to cook, well, cook through, <laughs> sleep through to uh, to hopefully get that other skill point and unlock this. So let's just grab there. That. That's the campfire roast. Does this increase our bonus significantly? Yes, it does. That's an extra 10 and it's a thousand calories uh, for that one. So yeah, very useful to have it. So it's up to 319.7 total. And of course we can sleep through and get an extra skill point. 11 hours and 35 minutes wasted or 39 minutes wasted and uh, I now have an extra skill point so going to skills going to chef and cooking we're going to take that there we go okay and that's that next skill point looked at so we're now going to need to maybe go and see if any of our existing stations can actually use the cooking skill uh, I think we have a cast iron stove or a kitchen area yeah uh, we need uh, 1.8 room tier to be able to use this so we need to work on that this is all advanced cooking though so clearly the uh this is not the next station for us we want the regular cooking one which probably means a cast iron stove i think um yeah let me just look i think it may well be upstairs in the anvil let's go and take a look as it's cast iron you might expect well it to be casting but we don't have casting in the game so cast iron stove needs six limber six lumber and six iron bars uh, so let's just put that on there, make sure we're hooked up to some kind of storage. Uh, yeah, that's downstairs, so uh, we want lumber. That's boards. Um, that's fine. Do I have enough stuff to basically make lumber? Let's go and look, take a look at our sawmill. We need six of it. Uh, well, no, is the answer. Yeah, so I'm clearly going to need a few more of those. But we'll get those started and that means we can go get these started because I have gone and chopped down a tree or two so we should have this available let's just make I don't know 40 of this uh, make sure it's the most efficient there we go 41 batches and off that now goes uh, that just means I need uh, basically more iron ore so I'm going to go and dig for a little while and get some more iron six of it to be precise and also, considering we were forced to make the wheat porridge as far, part of opening up cooking, we may as well try eating that as well. And that will, of course, or should restore, there we go, our carbs and vitamins and, a, well, <laughs> getting a bit too much protein there. But uh, hey, we'll rebalance it later. Uh, so 4.3, yes. So that's increasing things, uh, still increasing things. So pretty happy with that. And uh, now I just need to complete the iron. Yeah, yes, yet yeah, more iron is needed for this project. So, yep. Yeah. And I think I'm going to need to restart because my frame rate is getting a little bit low for today. Uh, yeah, we just need four more iron ingots. 
There we go. All of our iron has been turned into a cast iron stove now, and it should be done. So we get some more skill points from that. That's going to be the engineering skill, no doubt. Let's go and grab our cast iron stove and see if we can go and place it somewhere, particularly downstairs. Uh, I guess I could put it in here. This would make this room into a kitchen. Um, have I not already made this stove? Maybe I've got an extra one somewhere. But um, I want to replace that the other way around. Oh, it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, where's the front doors of this thing? It's not very... It must be on one end. Uh, okay, fine. I will pick it up again. And we'll put it on one end. Uh, let's just see what that does. That's uh, fine. Yeah, I prefer that. Oh, that's quite a deep stove. Quite odd. Anyway, um, no increase in housing value from here. You can see this room volume is used up, but uh, let's take a look. Average room tier, you have one out of a needed 1.8 room tier. So clearly we can't use this yet, but uh, with some extra room uh, improvements, you can see it requires cooking skills. So this is definitely the one that we're actually going to be using. And maybe we just put this downstairs. However, we can probably just increase this room tier if we can get some better decorations. So uh, we want to get to cooking two, and that will get us simmering meat, uh, which we can get with meat stock. Meat stock, is that made here? Yes, it is. And uh, we already have some stuff that we can make with that. So we can increase our cooking skill, no doubt. Now we can just do that right now if we had the room quality. Uh, unfortunately, we don't. It needs fuel as well, but uh, mainly the room tier. I did double check whether our kitchen downstairs has a better tier. No, that's 0.93 out of a needed 1.8 as well. So it's pretty much the same quality as upstairs. So to get tier two, we need to improve our log house into a lumber house, at least, at least to get started. So we're going to want to immediately just hew a whole bunch of logs. Let's just try 40 there. And let's see if I can actually generate that. So yeah, let's do that, body one. And then over here, we're going to convert it straight over across into lumber once that's actually done. So I'm going to want to have at least six lumber going. That's going to take 68 of those. So clearly, I'm going to need more logs, but that's straightforward to do. And then I'm going to want to replace either some of the floor. And what I may well do is the floor because it's upstairs. And that should share with the ceiling down here. At least I hope that's the case. Uh, so that might be a more uh, effective way of upgrading things. Uh, or indeed, I can put this upgrade in here, which may actually be more useful, and swap these around. Swap, put the kitchen upstairs and put this... Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this upstairs. Uh, you can see that's actually <laughs> brought my bonus down a fair bit. Let me just see whether that's actually going to... Um, uh, active projects and can't be picked up. Oh, I, yeah, that's fine. Let's just cancel that. Get rid of you. Uh, pick you up and put this up here. Uh, it's three by three, isn't it? So uh, one by three, I should say. So let's put that there. 126 up here. Um, that's actually slightly higher because like, this is going to be a second kitchen now, isn't it? Or should appear as a second kitchen, I would have thought. Um, first general, second general. Hmm. Well, maybe it needs to have a specific thing placed down to turn it into a kitchen. I can never remember which one. I think it's maybe the ice box will turn it into a kitchen first. So maybe I'll me make another ice box up there. But in any case, let's put the cast iron stove down here because we're going to want to use it more than anything else. And yeah, that means I'm <laughs> I'm going to have to put it in a place. Uh, it'll be fine. I, I want it to be nicely accessible there. And you can see 0.93 out of 1.8 out of fuel. So yes, this is working as before. Still 126, so I'm pretty much capped either way around. But no, re no reduction there. And uh, I just need some more logs. Um, do I have any more logs? No. Chopping down trees it is. Okay, here we go. There's our lumber carry that around and hopefully that's going to be the same tool yeah it looks like we can just build that uh however what i may well do is have to take the floor out first uh yes i'm going to store this somewhere do we even have any storage up here i'm sorry it's a little bit dark let me just uh can't really want i don't really want to sleep through unless it's absolutely necessary to get skills uh so let me just pull that lumber down yeah i'm just going to pick up the uh just gonna pick up the um the floor and yes, we are going to do it in this room. I'm going to do this room because I also want to do this uh, this uh, station. That's one out of one. 
but we are going to be getting bakery oven soon so let me just take that out through three four five and six okay they can go downstairs and i'm just going to swap them for the lumber i'm going to put exactly the same thing in and let's see if it picks up as a tier two room or if i'm going to need a whole lot more lumber it's probably I'm going to need more lumber, isn't it? But uh, let's give it a go. So this room is now tier 1.04. <laughs> and we're going to need tier 1.8. So, yes, uh, this room is tier 0.95. So it's a little bit better, but uh, nowhere near as much. So it looks like I'm going to need a lot of lumber to get it to the next tier. Let me see if there's any other way of getting that uh, that tier up. The only other thing I can think of really is to have a smaller room. So it counts basically less of these more than anything else and so you need a minimum size room purely made out of lumber or something else like that and i did check yes it seems that the other materials are going to be glass and brick now if you remember we can't get to brick without brick laying uh now we can actually do that in here oh no hang on. we can make bricks yeah that's fine uh we just need a lot of clay that's the thing yeah clay uh so i'm gonna need a road to get the clay um <laughs> You can only carry it five at a time, and that's terrible. So what I'm going to have to do is dig all the way over to what well, not dig, but mostly clear this space right here. Uh, and let's see if that can actually come out the other side without many ramps up further up. Um, so here it is. And we're going to want to head this way. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to end up underground, aren't I? So I'm going to want to maybe clear backwards to get through here and head over there with ramps or something along those kind of lines or maybe just build roughly uphill for now <laughs> it's annoying this is one that we're in the game where it's just really hard to actually find a decent way to get backwards and forwards uh so uh, i would like completely straight roads go for full roman approach for, but for the time being um what i may well do is branch off here and try and get up on top of this this sort of plateau here and head that way rather than head right next to the mine just because it's easier to be able to see stuff and dirt roads are not terribly hard to to make we've obviously got the road tool but uh, further than that we can also make um, dirt ramps really easily with any dirt that we pick up so yeah the idea is we're gonna get our cart or ability to take a cart all the way over to where the clay is uh, or we could process it over there. Um, what do we actually need? We, we need a house, basically. And we need a house capable of holding this. This might be actually a better idea. Uh, this just needs mortar. Okay, now mortar isn't much of a problem. You can store hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in a cart or indeed in your inventory. So we can just process them into bricks over there. So that leaves whatever this station is. Uh, you need a tier one room. Okay, and uh, it uses 45 cubic meters. So if you think about 15s uh, for that, so 15, 30, 45, so uh, 15 cubic meters, three high uh, will do it. And that's a three by five room, obviously, by three. So three by three by five, and then increase all of those by one to figure out. <laughs> figure out the dimensions for your uh, logs or, or whatever you're actually going to use to build it and of course uh, this only needs tier one as far as the room is concerned so very very efficient to get lots and lots of um, uh, lumber take them over there and build a small house and rather than carting a hewn logs all the way back and forward you do pay the penalty for doing it this way but uh, you're probably just going to want to uh, go make yourself a workbench, take that out to wherever you're going to go and uh, make them into hewn logs over there. Again, won't be as efficient, but actually we'll get us started. And have I put that, that clay down? Oh no, there it is. It's, my house is being constructed. I've just put the marker in slightly the wrong place, a little bit too far up. Anyway, uh, we should be able to make these into hewn logs. So uh, again, very, very inefficient. But it saves you having to walk backwards and forwards, just take a workbench with you, at least to get a small hut up, and then you can make a carpentry bench and do whatever you like from there.
And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the scrappiest of scrappy log cabins in the world, <laughs> made out of almost nothing, that qualifies as a room, that qualifies as a room for a kiln, which means we can process stuff into bricks over here. And I also brought a stockpile, well, I made a stockpile out here, and I brought some wooden uh, ramps even, so that we can actually think about them that way. So, uh, one, we're also going to want to clear the ground, uh, if we can, it will let us clear the ground. Uh, it will, but uh, we may have to get rid of some of the stuff that's actually uh, taro roots. Okay, well, fine. I guess we may well use those, but I don't see any need for them. So, uh, yep, yeah, we're just going to basically clear the ground up so that we can have a nice area around this sort of remote hut. We are, of course, going to want to uh, later have a road leading back to the base, and it is going to be heading that sort of direction. But there's a whole load of trees in the way that we have to get rid of and all kinds of other stuff. But uh, that will actually get us started, at least. And uh, we can have a little bit of a clear room to place a stockpile, which is the main thing. I'm going to put a stockpile over here somewhere, I think. Or we may all even dig that way because you can already see some exposed clay there on the side of the cliff. So, yeah, there's plenty of places to go and get stuff. OK, you can see here we've got some clay, at least a little bit, and I can fit about 42 mortar in my inventory at once. We're not going to want to take the cart back. We still need a road, it's just it's more efficient to bring the mortar stone over here in a cart, which, which will actually fit hundreds and hundreds. The cart can carry about two tons, so that's a very small amount of iron ore or a very large amount of mortar, depending on what you're actually doing. So yes, uh, I'm going to do it that way, and then we're going to have the, the road running over there. I've been clearing up more of the actual undergrowth around here so I can move around a little bit faster. But every time I head over to the back to the base, it's full of undergrowth and uh, really hard to actually move around. But let's get the uh, stuff started here. We can get one batch, but let's just queue 999 because this thing is just going to produce bricks. And we can obviously produce another kiln back at the other base if we actually want more of those. So, yeah, we're going to produce some bricks. Uh, well, one brick <laughs> to get us started. And, uh, well, that's going to increase our brick laying skill and become more and more efficient over time. So, yeah, uh, we also, you can see, we make glass here from sand, but that needs glass working. And that's another thing that to up our tier of our buildings into tier two, which means we can start doing cooking. So that's about the end of today's episode. We've got the cooking skill. We've got the stove to cook it on. We just need to basically build more materials to upgrade our rooms to be a lot nicer, basically. And uh, I'm going to upgrade the floors so that it's both shared at the upper and lower. And then we'll work on everything else. So that's going to need a lot of lumber or bricks. Either way, I think we may all use bricks for the walls and lumber for the floors. Having wooden floors, wooden ceilings is a lot nicer, I think. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I may well convert across the uh, mortared stone as well for tier one and sort of reuse the the existing uh, sort of lumber walls. These uh, we can convert them over. Uh, sorry not lumber, hewn log walls. We can convert them over into lumber and do stuff like that once the, uh, the the walls are replaced, at least with the mortared stone. But more more nicely would be to replace it with bricks. Regardless, that's going to take a little while to actually get through. So that's going to be there. We've got one brick. We have to carry this stuff. Uh, but you can see we can build brick stuff right here or indeed move it. So either way, I'm going to have to take stuff back, I guess. Um, I guess we're going to be able to carry hopefully 20 bricks at once. That would be nice if we could, or at least 15, but we'll see about that longer term. In the meantime, I'm going to build a road and I will leave you there for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, getting further towards making roads and further towards making a second base, I think, out here in the rainforest, which is a nice different biome from our, our default one. Got some desert over there as well we can head into if we need iron out here because that's where we're going to find it. If you enjoyed it, click on the thumbs up below. Feel free to subscribe if you aren't already. Of course, if you can click on the bell, you get notifications for more episodes. And we'll see you next time. Next time we're in Eco. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And this undergrowth is terrible.